So I just finished installing coilovers on my 944, and part of that process for me, it depends on which ones you pick, was a torsion bar delete. And that was something I had never done. I wasn't used to torsion bars, and I wanted to make a quick DIY video. Um, I have a longer video on my channel, but just a quick DIY. If you're thinking about doing this, what you're gonna have to do. Um, a torsion bar, the way it works is, it's basically a bar that has splines on each end, and it has a twisting force applied to it that the rest of the suspension is going to try to comply to. So it has a strut like a normal, a normal car would, but it doesn't have a spring. Instead of a spring, it has that force that's applied through basically like trailing arms and spring arms that are trying to push back up against the chassis due to that twisting force. So just real quick, I'm gonna give you the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it. And if I were to do it over again, just because of how long it took me, I'd probably do it the wrong way. Um, I think there's probably a pretty easy way to do it uh, that I didn't understand until I had everything blown apart and it, it involves a hacksaw. So if, if that's not the way you wanna go, let's talk about the right way to do it. Um, so let's start with the right way and we're gonna use the back of the car and we'll talk about what tools you're gonna need and what you're gonna need to do. All right, so what we have here is the rear suspension on a 944. Um, my, you can see my coilovers are already in. I just wanna go over what you'll need to do if you want to um, basically delete your torsion bar. So let's start with the right way. The right way involves pulling the rear sway bar out if you have one. Some models do, some models don't. Um, so you start by doing that and that's a that's a 17 mil bolt down here. Then you need to pull both axles. So you don't have to completely drop them. You need to, on the transmission side, use an M8 triple square bit and you basically pull all of the bolts out and hang it. You can hang it. There's a bunch of spots up above you can hang it from. I use bungee cords, super easy. Um, from there, things start to get wild. So there's a bunch of 19 mil bolts, which are fine. Um, you're gonna wanna wrap and suspend the entire uh, like rear trailing arm here, like basically a rear control arm um, up above. There's, a, there's a, a big kind of body support that goes across that's easy. I just used rope and suspended it from there. Um, you're gonna wanna disconnect the brake line and the brake sensor on the left side here in the brake line up above. There's another section where the brake line goes up in here. Um, I think those are about 13 or 14, but the, the special tools that you really need here are gonna be what comes up next. So to get, basically to loosen all of this stuff, this front here is a, a 19, but then the back, or it might be a 17, 17 or a 19, um, the back is a 27. So if you have sway bars, you need a 27 mil um, wrench to get back there and it's really skinny, um, and how that kind of works is setting camera and caster, all that alignment stuff is done through these bolts. So you can take a quick outline and then use that 27 mil up against the back and keep it in place while you're loosening it and while you're tightening it, trying to get it, you know, to fit where it needs to fit. Um, here we have a, we have basically a 24 mil and on the back is a 36 mil. So what I found on Amazon and I'll post this on the comments is a, it's like a fan belt wrench for a BMW and it comes with a 32 and a 36, uh, basically wrench opening on each side. And that's what I use for here. And then it's 24, 24. And then these are all 17s and a 19 through the body mount. So how it really all works is, I mean, I had to take everything out to delete this. So that's that's what I recommend you do. Start, start where I started with the sway bar, make sure you hang the axles, hang the rear trailing arm because it's, you know, you don't want that stuff to fall or move. And then basically just, you can just unbolt everything else. Once you have a, um, everything marked as to where it sits, start pulling the bolts out. You can see I have them labeled. Um, and then you pry, I needed a pretty big pry bar to do this. I'm not the biggest guy, but um, you put a jack under the center of the, you know, the housing for the torsion bar and uh, the torsion bars, and you start pulling down on each side and you go side to side, side to side, and eventually you'll get it. Um, you bring it down, you take these end caps out. You need all these bolts out to pull this entire piece off to get behind it get these end caps out and pull your torsion bars out. Um, from there, you do everything in reverse. You jack it up, you kind of align everything, um, go very slowly side to side. If these are off, it was a nightmare getting this all in. Getting the bolts in for, you, I know you can't see where my hand is, but if you come look at your car, you'll see this. There is a mount that goes this way. Um, it's one of those 19 mils. And if you can get that in, you really have to work. I had to work with a pry bar a little bit and you, you really need to angle this up as you go. So I used one jack under here. You know, I left a, a jack under the support, jack this into place and then started to jack this at an angle too 
and get everything straight and centered and put that bolt in. And then once I, I got that in, um, I was able to get the two bolts for this mount back in here. So those are 17s that also have to come out. Uh, what a pain, what a nightmare. So, I mean, really what you need for special tools are like the M8, the 27 mil wrench, and then the 36 mil for the, basically all getting all these bolts out of the spring plate and the control arm, all that stuff. Um, and that's the right way to do it. I mean, that's not a, it's not a great explanation. I'm not gonna pull you and take you under the car. If you look, you'll get an idea of where you need to go. You can kind of mark these bolts up yourself, but that's what I had to do to get up. I, there's guides online where you can pull this and that. Basically what you wanna do is disconnect the brakes, disconnect the sensors and unbolt everything and just drop it. It's easier that way. You're gonna save time. Just make sure you hang stuff that can't fall like the axle and the trailing arm. Um, the wrong way to do it is to, I'm gonna move it a little bit. And hopefully you can see this. Um, where the torsion bar sits in this end, you could actually use a sawzall, like a, a hacksaw blade basically, and cut this straight down and cut the end of it off and pull it out a little bit at a time, cut it off, pull it out, and then build an end cap for this. And if I were gonna do this all over again, that's exactly what I would do. I know there are guys who run race cars who will cut holes in the body and then have basically this end cap cut. They drop it the first time and they cut the end cap off. So they can just go in and re-index as they need for suspension travel and rebound and things like that. Um, if I were gonna do it, that's how I would do it. But that's basically what you need to know. Um, that's what it was a struggle to do. But if you're looking to do a torsion bar delete, that's really what you're gonna need. Um, yeah, so leave any comments or questions down below. I can, I can definitely go into different parts of it if people are interested. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in next time as I overhaul the 944. If you've got a second, hit that like and subscribe button below. It would really help me out.